So um, hello again. Uh, I'm, on, I'm now going to give you a quick update on the new entity in, in my project that was implemented. And uh, that is uh, the commit and no, that is, uh, yes, that is the commit entity. And okay, I, I'm going to shout uh, larger. Larger, yes. Larger. Cool, <laughs> <it>? thank you. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so um, uh, basically what the commit entity, commit entity is, uh, it is an information on the code change. So any commit that was done in the repository is analyzed. And uh, I can go and try to extract that from, yes, we can use the M1 API again. And I'm going to use a commit entity for now. So each commit is analyzed and uh, yeah, you can see the features extracted. So the pull request, if the commit was part of the pull request is uh, extracted. Uh, also the patch, so the lines changed and deleted in the commit, the author, the message, the date of commit, uh, and uh, just the statistical information on additions and deletions. And we can go and look how it uh, how how does the knowledge look like. So, yeah, I can go to the analyze knowledge. The M1 API that, and go and look how does the commit knowledge look like. Yes. So, uh, yeah, this. Ideally, it would be, uh, again, stripped of some additional information. So um, now you can, for example, see the uh, uh, dependency update commit. You can see the title of, the, of that or the message of that commit and uh, the code change. Uh, also, ideally, for the message, uh, probably there's no need to uh, acquire the, uh, uh, there's no need to store the stop words and uh, and other, I, I would say garbage like that. So that would be trimmed. And also for the code change for maybe some information we decide not to have included in the knowledge. And what is this useful for? Uh, in future, if we would want to have a um, model that, uh, let's say, would analyze bugs in code based on code change, uh, you can just go and take a, uh, the, the data set of the uh, commit knowledge and process that to train your model on, on the code change. So yeah, that's, that's just a quick type to update on that. Any questions for this? It is basically funneling through the GitHub API data onto our disk, right? Yes. Okay. Cool. Any other question? Thanks, Dominic. 